Alright, so uh, I'm back and uh, today I'm feeling pretty determined. Uh, <laughs> the only thing is like straight away, as soon as I start opening this stuff up, I get an error that doesn't make any sense. And when I try to run the flutter run command, now it's probably going to work. Flutter run. It says that we only have two devices, Edge and Chrome. It doesn't find this device. I've never had this error before. All right, so I got it to run at least, but I did not figure out the problem. I spent probably like 20 minutes trying to figure that out, but I uh, wasn't able to figure it out. And the way that I solved it was just by running a different emulator and that seemed to solve the problem. So now we're gonna try to build the login screen. All right, so at this point I was running into this error of like, when I run the flutter clean uh, command, it should basically delete the build folder and uh, do a couple other things, but it didn't want to delete the build folder for some reason that the build folder was just staying around and I wasn't able to delete it manually either. So I made the fatal mistake of turning the computer off and then turning it back on. Uh, which did actually fix the problem. I was able to run Flutter clean, it deleted the build folder, I was able to run the app and everything worked fine. But what didn't work fine was the audio recording for my uh, screen recordings that I was doing for this video. So that meant that for the next six hours of me and the next two days of me basically programming this app, talking things through, explaining things to the camera, there's no audio. So... Um, yeah. So uh, this is Cal from the future again. We still don't have any audio, but I'm going to do my best to explain what happened. So now we've basically created the login screen. We both have the login tab and the sign up tab uh, completed for the UI. And I've also created something so that you can sign up using an email and a password. And I've added that Google sign in button. So that means that we can, if we tap that, we should be able to actually sign in as a, or sign up as a Google user. But the problem is that when the, the email and the password thing, that works fine. But as you can see, when once I try to sign in as a or sign up as a Google user, it basically just ends up loading forever. It doesn't work. There's some sort of bug that happens. Uh, wasn't really sure what that was, but something is not quite right. <laughs> Uh, so I just got back from the gym and I did a chest workout. Oh no, I did legs actually. Uh, and I was gonna buy some chicken from the store but I didn't have any. So what I bought was this like chicken or turkey breast ham looking thing. Um, which I can really actually recommend because it's quite an easy way to just get some protein in you uh, without actually having to cook anything especially since they didn't have any chicken. Yeah, this uh, is what I'm going to do as my post-workout post leg day uh, meal.
right. I think I'm going to try to get back to programming. Um, I'm just going to finish watching this episode. Okay, so I basically didn't get anything else done today, so I decided to just go to bed. And I'm currently reading Atomic Habits, which was suggested by Fredrik Jørgensen in the comment section of my previous video. Really appreciate that, really been enjoying the book. And one of the first things I did was I actually had a quick read of it over on short form. And they have thousands of different books with new ones being added every week. And so for Atomic Habits, for instance, there's a one page summary to give an overview of the book and then a comprehensive guide to each chapter with exercises after each to encourage learning and retention. Short Form is also sponsoring today's video. So there's a book called How to Read a Book that's really great and I highly recommend reading that. But it basically talks about different techniques for reading and like how to become a better reader and one of the key concepts in that book is to work with the material of the book that you're about to read like reading the summary on the back of the book for instance reading the table of contents reading the different titles throughout the entire book and then going through the book and reading like the final page of each chapter and then finally like reading fully reading the book and short form is another tool that i add to this and i will even substitute the other steps for just reading a short form book guide it's really that great and they have all kinds of books in genres from business science self-improvement to fiction all right so go check out shortform.com cal and you'll get five days of unlimited access and a 20% discount on the annual subscription, which is about half off on the entire year. So for about the price of one book per month, you'll have access to thousands. All right, so today, um... I think we're going to try to finish, or we, we are going to try to finish uh, the login function so that we don't get, just get that black screen. And I spent a lot of time yesterday like trying to fix that black screen, and then after a while I just got tired of it. That's why I didn't do anything else in the evening, and also because I just got stuck watching How I Met Your Mother and drawing. And um, But sometimes I know that like going to sleep and then waking up the next day even if there was a problem that was like super difficult, I didn't figure it out the day before. The next day when I wake up, for some reason, it usually works itself out like super quickly. So that's something that I'm like hoping for right now. I'm hoping that I'll just sit down by the computer and it'll be like, oh, okay, that's like the first thing that I'll try will work out, which probably won't be the case. <laughs> All right, so this is uh, future Cal, and I just wanted to explain kind of what the problem was. So, like I said, I wasn't able to get the, I just ended up at like a black screen as soon as I logged in. And the reason for that is that when you press basically the Google sign in button, what happens is this stuff happens. And I was essentially here setting the user to be equal to whatever this returns. But the problem was that I wasn't returning anything. So I was essentially not setting the user to be anything, which meant that the user was null, which meant that this if statement, we never actually went into this if statement because the user was always null. So this was always true uh, or 
this always turned out to be false, I guess, uh, which is why we didn't end up in the if statement. But once I fixed that and essentially returned the value of what this thing returns, which is a user, then this user is set. And now uh, we're able to actually push uh, a new page, which is something that I am really happy that that worked out because that was one of the really difficult I felt like if it was going to be this difficult to just show a new screen, then how am I ever going to be able to finish this app? Because basically I'll be able, I'll need to show lots of new screens and uh, this wasn't very fun, but that shows you kind of how like an easy mistake like that can just lead to hours of uh, debugging and like trying to figure stuff out. So I keep talking about the fact that this is like not even close to being a beta version of the app. And I think that a lot of uh, people that are watching this video, these videos are kind of not sure about what this app really is. And the thing is that I came up with this idea back in like, I think it would have been like 2017 when I was studying a bachelor's degree in exercise science and I was doing my last year of that. And I came up with this idea because I was like looking for an app that could do this and I didn't find any. And that is the whole reason why I like got into programming. It was basically like I couldn't find any app that did what I wanted an app to do. So I thought, okay, let's try to build it myself. And then I like got started with programming, got into that. And then I got into like a software engineering university thing and dropped out of that because of YouTube. But Ever since 2017, I still haven't found an app that does what I wanted to do. So I still think that this is like a unique idea. It may not be like a billion dollar idea, like I've said before, but it's something that I want and something that I think has some potential at least. So, but what you're seeing right now, this is like maybe like 5% of what the app actually will be. So. It is very far from what I'm what I'm envisioning for the app, but this is just the first start of it. And there's a lot of stuff that I need to add, a lot of features that need to be improved upon. And uh, and that is really what's gonna like differentiate it from all the other exercise apps that are out there. So um but yeah, we made a lot of progress today, so I'm really happy about that. And I'm excited because now I'm just going to fix some bugs and then hopefully be able to actually publish this app so that you can download it if you want to and uh, try it out. Even though, like I said, it's just going to be like a very early version of the app. Uh, the app is still in like its infancy. So um, yeah, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you in the next one.